Hi, I'm Orc Regal for Bridge Winners. I'm here with Sylvia Shee. Hello. And Sylvia is a member of the Wine Gold team who won the, their semifinal match in the women's uh, trials today. So they'll be playing in the finals against uh, Disa. Right. Uh, and so congratulations on that. Thank and you. Good luck tomorrow. You actually, the match was sort of close, right? You were, you actually were trailing for most of the day? Yeah, um, it was very close, actually. Uh, we won the first set by seven, but uh, we had a south wind penalty in the first quarter, oh, so we actually were down by two. And then uh, we lost some in the second, then we picked some back up in the third, but going into the final, I think we were down by two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it was a lot closer than we wanted it to be, that's for sure. Well, but you ended up winning. Yeah. What, what did you actually win by? Uh, I think like 48 or something. Oh, so it turns out not not to be. Yeah, close we at all. we had a we had a good final quarter and uh, it yeah it was good. Well, that's good. So you play with Beth Palmer, who you also played with last uh, last year in the World Championships. Yeah, Beth and I started like the first time we played was in the spring of last year in the Platinum Pairs, and uh, since then we've played like a few times. But like, oh, so you've only been playing for and, just over a year then. Right, and we've also like you know when you see us come out to play, that's. All we ever play. Oh, okay. So <laughs> basically, last year's trials, last year's platinum pairs, and the world, the world championships. championships, and then this. Yeah. And you have a pretty good record in that you were you made the final day of the platinum pairs. You were like thirteenth or something, right? Yeah. We and were... then you won the women's trials. You won the world championship, yeah. and you're on your way to winning a spot in. Uh... Well, don't jinx it. Sorry. <laughs> you're certainly more on your way than you would have been if you lost. Right. Right. Okay. Sure. Yes. So Beth is, to put it diplomatically, she's sort of. A bit deliberate. She's very slow. Yeah, she's, she's. I mean, yeah, she can take her time. So, and I've, I've played with you before, and I know you're not like a particularly fast player. So how do you adjust, how do you adjust your game when you're playing with someone who's much slower than you? Make sure you don't get, well, the you know, reason, slow penalties yeah. in, in addition to self penalties. The reason, <laughs> the reason that uh, I'm a slow player is that uh, in order to, for me to play effectively, I have to think through a lot of different things. Um, but the good news is that so when Beth is thinking, I usually just do all my thinking during that time. Oh, okay, so, so I actually get more thinking so time when I'm playing with I'm Beth today. <laughs> than, uh, still than here? normal. Hey, tell me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was just Sontag walking by. Uh, so okay, so you can you can actually you take a lot of time to plan your, your yeah. Your, mostly, I assume your bids. Yeah, like in the auctions, for example. You know, when she's taking a very long time. I usually I plan out what I can bid over everything. So all my bidding is usually okay. quite fast. And that, that's just good yeah. practice, right? You should generally, a good technique to be prepared for partners. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, But obviously, if you're playing with a fast player, you actually you just need to take your own time. Right. Because you don't have time to plan out every single response. Well, you are lucky then to have that time. <laughs> Super lucky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sometimes it can be very stressful uh, when the clock is ticking down. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, so I'm gonna get my you're here in the women's trials, and you played the women's trials last year. Also, you also played the open trials last yeah. year as well, right? Um, no, I played the open. Tri I've played the open trials, I think, twice before. I'm pretty sure Did you play played last it year? last year, seeing okay, as I, I played remember. against you in it. Well, fine. <laughs> But uh, yeah, last year was the first time I played in the women's trials. Oh, okay. So yeah. what, is that is that something you think you're going to be doing more of going forward? Is playing in women's events or like what, what? What's your like take on that as far as like what you want to play in personally or what you think the I guess the value of the events? Well, are? I would like to play in both as if they're not uh, overlapping. But like next year, for example, um, there's no women's trials, so right, I think as lo as long as the schedule <laughs> makes sense, I'll definitely try to play in a team for the open trials. Oh, okay, yeah. so you're you're definitely not you definitely don't want to be because some some players I think kind of get pigeonholed as like women's bridge players, and you're you're obviously not doing that. But what I mean, what's your is your I don't know if I'm if I'm phrasing this accurately or anything. But like, what's, what's my end game? No, 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 <laughs> not so much. What, what's your what's your I guess your how do you think of these events? Like, do you think they're kind of like some people talk about like wanting to eliminate them or not make like make them not nationally rated and i'm just wondering what your kind of your take on that as someone who's played both open and women's stuff. well i think that um, any sort of limited event is good because it encourages more people to play okay. and uh, when i was playing bridge uh, like i started playing bridge in 2011 mm -hmm. and like i played 
in all like the limited stuff. Like in 2012, we won like Grand National Teams Flight C. Okay. And you know, I played in uh, like zero to 10K stuff, and but I can still play in that actually. But uh, uh, I just think it's good because uh, you know, you, it's good to play in like the toughest field to mm -hmm. test yourself, but it's also good to, you know, as you're moving up, like play in limited events that are maybe not as strong because then you learn to win, you know? Oh, sure, yeah. It's no fun to just get beaten every time. Well, yeah, but also like you need to learn to win in order to be able to win. So okay. Think, well, apparently you've done you've done very well at learning to win. So you, well, guys, you, you you win. I mean, you won what six or seven national events of different. You know, that's more than that's more. I think like the 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 ones that actually count like maybe four. Or two. Okay. Yeah. Still, it's still plenty. But um, yeah, I think uh, the um. So I think that the it's good. You know, like the women's events are. I think that people should not be forced to play in any level uh, higher than uh, what they want to play in, okay. right? So if you want to play women's events, that's totally fine, I think. And also I think that, uh, you know, women should be recognized for winning in women's events. And that should be like, you know, it should be normal. And obviously, you know, an open event by definition is going to be tougher than any limited event, you know? Right. just force right sure so uh, but I think that anything that encourages people to continue with bridge is, is good and the problem with women's bridge is that you have a very sharp um, cutoff um, point between like the women at the top mm -hmm. and then like in op in open there's a lot of like flight a kind of players right. but there's not really a lot of women who you would consider like flight a players who could maybe like compete with the top women but like that's why we only have seven teams. This sure, year. and and yeah. there's I guess there's sort of one team like that, the Osmo team, who entered. That not, none of the, the women on that team are named players. Right, basically, right. every other team has at least some women who are who are you know right. who would be recognized. In, you know, if you listed yeah. a bunch of players, they'd be someone that you recognize from. Yeah. So it's you think that that that's sort of like there's there's not like whereas in the open trials there there are some sometimes there are teams sometimes more than others where you get kind of the local experts who come out and yeah, play the kind sure, of flight yeah. A players. Yeah, okay. I think the Osmo, I think it's great that uh, they're playing. And actually they did, um, they did like, uh, they, I think they came in, they were seventh, but only by like one VP. And oh, okay. we actually lost to them on, on the second day of the round robin. We lost by 14. And they also beat uh, Baker, who is the other uh, uh, professional team. Sure. So they must be, you know, feeling pretty good about themselves, I think. Okay, so, yeah, so that, that really does It's a really make, good result for them. And even, yeah, good experience for them to come and be able to play against these good players yeah. and beat some of them and learn. Yeah. Okay, sure. that makes sense. So speaking of, like, learning, I know one thing you're, you're really involved in is Kibitz the Pros program? Yeah, um, I started doing it. Uh, so Kibitz the Pros is uh, basically uh, it's a thing that uh, Jay Whipple does uh, in conjunction with the Common Game. And... Uh, I think we do it every couple weeks or so, but it depends on the scheduling because sometimes regionals get in the way. But what we'll do is we'll play five hands on bridge base that are common game hands. And so you can play the hands at the club and then you can watch us play them online and see what, what we do. And sometimes we do some pretty crazy things. So. <laughs> and so you, when you say us, that's... that's... Um, there's a, a group of people who do them, but uh, usually when I play it's... Uh, I play with Daniel, and uh, we often play against uh, David Berkowitz and Daniel Gary Corbell. Cole. Yeah, for, Daniel for Corbell. people who don't right, necessarily right. know. I, yes, know. yes, right. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. And that's and you and when you say you play them on on BBO, but it's not just playing them, right? Because you're also narrating. Yeah. What's going um, on. So we're we're on webcam also, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, I think uh, it, if you go to the Common Game website, uh, there's a link to them, and you, there's a ton of videos, and some of them are quite amusing. And you get each person's perspective, right? right. You could look at one hand, and you right. can see, you know, your video yourself, and you're you're holding, you know, right. playing whatever hand, and hear hear what your thoughts are on it, and then you could go over and find out what Gary Kohler's thinking, which exactly. I'm sure is quite right. usually pretty pretty funny. So you can you can let's say you did something your partner didn't like it oh, then sure. you go you could, look and you'd be like aha look David Berkowitz did the same thing. Right. <laughs> or you know you do something and and you make some play and your partner your partner actually at the table doesn't like it you can go and and watch Gary Cole or yell about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can't believe he did such and such. Right. It's a it's a it's a great yeah. Uh, we're looking to get it more of a uh, like a 
scheduled thing. Okay, you know, sure. We're working right. on that, but uh, there's a lot of backlog of videos that you can watch. Also, and that's just a great thing to do again, you know, for people who are playing at the club. And if you don't have, you know, the ways you really get better at bridge is by talking, you know, playing against good players yeah. and talking with good players about bridge, right? Yeah. And even, so, if, if you're if you're local scene if you don't have people to talk to like that you don't have these expert players yeah. to talk to being able to at least listen to some of you know some experts a thought process on right. a few hands is you know is useful for that. so that's and i also do a lot of like youtube videos actually where i just go over like um i did a, a segment when i played the team trials last year and i'm slowly working through when we played in the worlds um just uh, going through the hands and my thoughts and everything. Okay, like over the shoulder type. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. And you do the same thing with the video, and you go through right. the hands on, on yeah, the, basically the, on BBO, yeah. and you okay. Just tell, say why, why I did something. You know, <laughs> often the reasons like pretty dumb, but <laughs> whatever works. <laughs> I mean, if you look at like kids' articles and stuff, often they'll be like, he talks to what you should do, yeah. and, and then, then he says you, you decide to do thing. completely <laughs> something else. So obviously. Thinking, doing at the table is a lot different than if you had, you know, 15 minutes to think about the whole hand, yeah. you know, sitting back in your armchair. For sure. All right. Well, I think, unless you have anything else. No. Just good luck tomorrow. Thank and you. Thank you. All yeah. right. Thanks. Thank you.